Hey guys, so these are all the uh, tiny whips that have been featured on my channel in the last few months, and uh, well, I think these are all of them. There might be one other one that I couldn't find. Anyway, these are the ones I could find, and I was kind of going through all these, and I was doing some weight measurements on the different builds here because they're all kind of they're all different. They weigh different. They have different components. And it got me thinking about some of the comments I've been seeing on on my videos where people were having trouble with um, either flight time or um, uh, it's being, basically it's too heavy, you can't even just get off the ground. Whereas I don't really have any of those issues with any of these. They all fly okay. With the exception that I can't really do any crazy um, aerobatics like loops and flips and that kind of stuff. And I don't really see a lot of the tiny whips doing that, but I was kind of wondering, well, what is it going to take to put together a build where I could do that kind of stuff? And so I was thinking, well, what could I combine here of the four that I built in such a way where I can get the lightest build possible? Because I think ultimately um, what's going to matter the most is getting the weight down. And that's going to improve your flight time. That's going to obviously get you off the ground if you're having trouble getting off the ground. Um, I know there's other issues like the the battery connector um, and I tried resolving that with my latest build here with a different battery connector and um, I think it'll just be easier if I just show you what everything looks like on the scale and I can show you exactly all the numbers because in order to get the best performance out of a uh, I guess an uh, optimal build we're going to need to get that weight down so let me uh, show you some weights here on the camera okay so i think the first thing that is going to be uh, most important is going to be the frame and the e 10 frame is definitely a lot sturdier than the inductrix frame and uh, you'll see how much the weight difference is but uh it's pretty significant so let me just go ahead and put this on here comes in at 5.05 grams and then this is just a bare inductrix frame that's 3.24 grams so it's like uh, 1.75 1 point almost 1.8 grams difference which is pretty huge now I've been going kind of going with the 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 the, e, the easier one frame because that's stronger definitely the more durable and crashes but it's a pretty significant increase in the weight um, so I'm thinking the optimal build is to build with uh, this frame the clear frame even though it's a lot more flimsy and will break pretty easily in a hard crash but I'm going to go for ultimate um, uh, lightweight and uh, performance so I'm, gonna, I'm thinking that the way to go is with, it, is, is with this frame and then the other thing that I was thinking about is the battery and you know I went with this frame and with the battery that would go into this spot the space here is actually built for this frame it's a this little J, JJRC 260 milliamp hour battery and there's a I was reading a lot of stuff out there regarding the the connector that goes to this battery and that that the, the connector is going to limit how much power can go through to the board and ultimately ultimately to the motors so i was thinking well these micro low z connectors are going to be pretty good for feeding the the current trough for these motors but the it, turn, it turns out that the weight the the weight difference is probably going to be too much here so let me just show you the weight difference between the this battery and the one i was using before so this is the 260 so this comes in at almost seven grams and then these are these little stick batteries with the connector that is kind of flawed it's 5.3 grams so it's like 1.7 grams so between that and the frame where it's over we're already over three grams difference in the weight and i think that even with the inferior connector if you can get that weight the total weight down it really isn't going to matter that much because the current draw isn't going to be as high so I'm thinking I got to dump the bigger battery, go back to the smaller battery, even though it's got the flawed connector, and um, 
possibly even look into later switching these connectors. I know people are taking the batteries apart and getting rid of these little uh, micro JSD connectors and putting some some other a little bit larger connector that can handle the uh, the current draw better. I don't have that connector, so I don't I won't be able to switch to that. But that's something that I could look into later. That's a lot of work though to switch these little connectors. So you gotta take this little cover off and then desolder the the positive and negative and then put a new one on and it's a lot of it's a lot of work just for one little battery and um thinking i'll go with the smaller lighter camera the uh this is that bowl clash uh cm275t there's also a banggood version it's called the cm275t and it comes with this uh, whip antenna this is actually lighter than what's on here this is the fx 798 and i think you can get this down if you remove the case and get rid of the circular polarized antenna but that's a lot of work and i have uh this already ready to go so i'm thinking what i'm going to do here is actually something pretty simple i'm going to take the um the b core board and the camera off of this frame and then i'm going to swap out this board and this camera and put that the b core onto here this has the uh the lighter frame that so obviously it's a lot more flimsy you can see but i think i can get the weight down quite a bit uh compared to what this is here so let's do a before and after here this is the last build that i did with the b core comes in at just over 21 grams so i'm thinking that if i put this board onto this frame i can get it probably under 20 grams um, now, I know that you guys are thinking, okay, what about the motors? Well, uh, I mean, let's, 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 let's talk about the motors here for a second. So, the motors I got in here, like on, on this one here, this is the Airblade. Um, and over here is the Spintech motors. And over here, I think this is also the Spintech motors. And those are all about 17,300 kV. Um, and on this one here, this is, this is basically just the, uh, E010. I don't, I don't think these are stock to stock motors. I believe I switched these out. I think these are the Banggood um, standard six millimeters. I mean, those are only like fourteen thousand six hundred kb. And this one is okay. It doesn't do any aerobatics, but um, you know, it's uh, uh, these motors aren't. <laughs> these motors are are slower, and and this, and this frame is heavier. So this is probably gonna be the the. The, the worst performer out of the bunch. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna take this board and this camera out and I'll put it over here. Let's see what that, what this weighs like. So let me go, go ahead and do that right back. Okay guys, so I've uh, transferred the B core board into the other frame here with the um, inductrix frame. And I had to actually swap all the motors around because uh, the motors are different for the inductrix. So um, let's see what it finally weighs in at. comes in at 18 and a half grams so definitely um, under 20 which I thought it was going to be actually quite a bit more uh, this was 21 grams so it's um, two and a half grams lighter and then I'm going to go with the the lighter stick battery as well and so the total weight is coming in at about 23.8 and I think that this one with the bigger battery was coming in around 28 and a half so almost five grams less than uh, with this particular configuration so i guess the bottom line is we'll see, we'll have to see how this flies so i'm going to go ahead and roll some flight footage of how this thing flies in this in this setup and i will um, put a list of all the parts for this particular setup in the description if you guys are wondering how to get this to this particular weight um not sure if there's any way to get this even lighter i i might be able to maybe take this camera apart maybe use a lighter antenna or something like that maybe shave another half a gram off but i'm thinking this will probably be a pretty good performer so let's take a look at how it flies okay guys i'm gonna fly the uh slim down uh, tiny whip here at the park and i'm gonna try out these new batteries i just got from hobby tiger that's what they look like they're um, 45C, 200 milliamp. They're a little bit skinnier than the ones from T-Mart. They're, they're flatter and a little bit longer. And they weigh about 
0.15 grams more than the these here. So let's see um, how they perform. I'm gonna actually, I think what I'll do is I'll try the, uh, the this is the lighter battery first and see what that's like, and I'll try this newer battery and see if it's, there's any much difference. I'm not really expecting it to be a lot of difference. The this new battery, it kind of is loose in here, isn't as snug a fit in the frame. So hopefully it doesn't uh, uh, move around too much. Thank you. 